What's up, guys? It's Lefty here. We're talking NFL Week 8, 1 o'clock game, Falcons at Titans. Market and bets pretty split here, but Tennessee is getting the bigger bet. Um, a very popular pick service with a big following released Atlanta as a play yesterday. And between that and the Titans set up for a fire sale of all players, potentially trading away anyone. Nobody's off limits. Uh, Pro Bowl of Bayard already got shipped to the Eagles. We've seen the Falcons go from minus two and cross to minus three. We got two dead nuts under teams here, Atlanta and Tennessee combined last season. Um, and then this current season are 70% to the under, 33 unders and 14 overs. 11 and 2 under record combined between both teams this season alone, uh, including a streak of nine straight unders. Helping the under trend down is the Titans QB issues. Reports are that both backups, Will Le uh, Levis and Malik Willis, will split time. I think that's just Vrabel breaking Arthur Smith's balls and not letting him prepare for just one QB. Um, regardless of who's under center um, for Tennessee, it's a significant downgrade from Tannehill, um, even as bad as he's been. Um, Will Levis, um, I'm not even sure how you pronounce that guy's name, Levis, um, is who I think will get the start. Um, he's the more unknown quarterback. Um, and would be the wild card. We've seen backups with no NFL film on them come in and have success before. Um, now, kind of like uh, just to update everyone and brag. Well, I shouldn't even brag about this, but um, I bet the Falcons over eight and a half wins before the season started. They have four wins now and have a pretty soft schedule going forward. They don't play a single team with a winning record going forward, which is kind of crazy. And they have games against Arizona, Carolina, and Chicago. This past Sunday was a big win. Uh, Falcons got the win on the road in Tampa Bay, despite losing the ball on three fumbles and going one and five in the red zone um, and giving Tampa Bay six first downs off penalties. Ritter, now with four turnovers inside the opponent's 10-yard line uh, just in the last two weeks. But I will say, not sure all those turnovers were Ritter's fault completely. Some bad luck involved there. But being able to overcome the turnovers and penalties and still win outright on the road is crazy and in a way shows they are a good team. Falcons' defense is definitely a solid unit. And if it wasn't for the defense... Uh, this Falcons team might even be winless. Um, they're especially good against a run uh, where they rate out top three by basically any meaningful run metric. So when you look at this matchup versus Tennessee and you take away or limit the Titans' ability to run and force the Titans to pass with a backup QB, seems like the only way you can look to bet this one is Falcons. But, man, it's not an easy one. Falcons back-to-back -back road games, laying points on the road, not exactly a run-to-go bet spot. I do have a small bet um, on Atlanta, minus two and a half. I saw it books creeping to three and have like basically a quarter unit bet on Atlanta at two and a half because I just knew it was going to close three. Um, also, looking like I pulled off a heist in my fantasy league. I traded Bijan uh, Robinson week three of the season for Raheem Mostert. Um, Bijan only one carry for three yards last week. Reports were that he was sick and not feeling good. Um, the guy I traded for, um, he's definitely sick and not feeling good. That's it for this one. Until next time, good luck with your bets.